Hello, thank you for watching this presentation. I am Eliberto, that is Amaya and Rahina as my partners here on the de-extinction of the Caspian Tiger presentation. Let's get into it. So first, what is the organism you plan on bringing back? The organism we plan on bringing back is the Caspian Tiger. The Caspian Tiger is a mammal that was one of the largest big cats on the planet. One of the largest, not the largest, but one of them. The cat had an instant recognizable body with large sides of their legs with the large size not not large size with the large size of their legs and the extreme amount of fur on this animal or extreme amount of fur this animal held i said it wrong my bad um but you can see in the picture all the fur there's so much fur on the cat that it hangs off the neck like it has a double chin and it also has a longer stomach from i mean it's not like it's not like shaved in like how normal cats their hair you can like like a dog or a cat or you can just pet it and it goes it slicks back it just hangs down because it has so much fur so it just hangs down like it's extra weight and you can see it's the legs look like gigantic breadsticks they are huge like husky huscular uh hus muscular husky and muscular legs big and that's what caused them to be one of the biggest cats the Caspian tiger had lived in the regions of southern, central, and western Asia. The countries it was mostly found in was Uzbekistan, Armenia, Tur Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan, Iran, and Afghanistan. When did the tiger go extinct? The Caspian tiger unfortunately was declared extinct in the 1970s. The reason why they went extinct was because of the habitat they wanted to live in. It was filled with humans, which meant they would be hunted and killed if they were found by the people. So, really, it was they. The cats like to live in human uh, civilization. Like they like to be where the humans were living. So, because of that, and they always wanted to, um, wherever they lived, if there was a human around, they most likely got either hunted or killed because it was either food or they just got it to sell its fur. Or they did whatever they wanted to. And it also was a danger to the humans. Whether they had like kids. Or even just to anybody. Uh, they were carnivores. So they did try and hunt. You know people. So it was basically prey versus prey. So it was either the tigers or the humans. And it, it seems like the tigers lost that battle. How do you go to plan to bring it back? Well you could get DNA from the Caspian tiger. And clone it to bring it back. It is very possible since the animal went extinct about 50 years ago. DNA is the main way to de-extinct an animal that has been extinct. The hazards the tiger will encounter are humans. Humans are what made them go extinct in the first place, and it may be the main thing that makes them go extinct again if they are resurrected. If the tigers are brought back, they would probably live back in Asia, but we should place them in a more secluded spot, somewhere in like a jungle where they can grow to, into a wild species, Instead of them just living in human civilization, we'd rather just, if, they were, if we want to bring them back, we don't want to put them back out there where there's a tiger roaming the streets and someone should grab their gun and shoot it or, you know, something like that. So we should just put it in the Amazon rainforest or, I don't know, somewhere in Asia, somewhere else in Asia that could um, let them live their life as a wild animal, but also not be killed right away. Is it economically viable to bring the species back from extinction? Um, I don't think it would be economically viable since the tigers will most likely be killed and hunted again by humans. Uh, it could be worth a shot to give them a second chance at life. And that's why I was saying we should just put them in like a secluded area where they can grow up to be tigers, like a safari area, Af Africa, Asia, some somewhere where they can live their own life but not be in the way of humans. Um, the economic benefits would be that the tigers will eat many smaller animals around them since the tigers are carnivores. So they may eat bunnies, um, deer, uh, any, really any, any prey. Oh, it's predator versus predator. That's why I, I, said, I said it wrong. I said prey versus prey earlier. It's predator versus predator, humans versus tigers. And now they would eat any prey because they are carnivores. So they'll just eat any alive mammal really um 
The costs would probably be the lives of some humans, but most likely a small amount would die since we do have more technology and machinery today than we did back in the 70s. I do think the economic benefits outweigh the costs, though, because the costs would be the human lives and the economic benefits would be how would the tigers live their life. And they would live their life, but if it gets in the way of the humans, then they might go back to be extinct. And these are my references from endangeredlist.org, sciencemag.org, National Geographic, Yale.edu, and carnivoria.net. So thank you for watching this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was good.